if it works out, it works out. But I'm learning in the process. You it's know? a skill. You know, I mean, I'm. I'm I'm into DIY as well, so I, I, I do it. enjoy it. So it's, it doesn't have to be perfect all the time. Oh. And it's about the skill. You, yep. you get better with every project. You do. Um, I, I mean, I also, I've always been creative and hands-on. So I've been sewing, for example, since I was very young. So now I teach sewing. Um, we have creative lessons and workshops um, at my space. So this was all also coming from... Because of how therapeutic I, it helps me so much to like just, you know, move away from my phone or move away from, you know, all the like horrible things that are happening. It's very repetitive things or focusing on something other than the ugly stuff. It's, it's really therapeutic. So because it helps me, I'm like, okay, you know what? I need to share this stuff. Because we really need it. Mm -hmm. Plus, we're creating things. We're learning from each other. We're getting back these life skills that people are losing touch with. You know, you know, AI is going to do a lot of things. It's not going to sew a button. So <laughs> definitely not. You know, I love AI. I love yeah. tech. I'm really, I really love tech. But I will not give up my sewing, my printing, painting, saw. I, you know, I love all of that stuff. It just gives you, I think, a different a different feel to it. For sure. And I mean, there's a lot of scientific to science to back up, you mm -hmm. know, the the process and everything that's the serotonin that's released from yes. making something with your hands, it's you know, so satisfying and rewarding. I'm not sure about you, but but when I'm doing something, um it doesn't happen all the time. But when it happens, sometimes I get uh, frustrated because I'm not getting it right. But when I'm into it, I I'm enjoying the process. At the same time, I'm getting certain frustrations because I'm not doing it right. But then I get back to it. It's, uh, really I think it's, a, it's character mm -hmm. as well, that side of it. Mm -hmm. um, I've sort of... I need to try, okay. but I know that when I'm trying, it's not going to be perfect because mm -hmm. when you see perfect works or perfect creations, how long have they been doing it? Yes. So I can't expect if I'm going to do it for the first time, it's going to look like that. No. Yes, yes, yes. And this is exactly what I tell like students or people who come to do workshops. Yes, the teachers is perfect, but they've been doing it for years. So give yourself time. And this is the first step to getting there. You have to take the first step to learn to embroider. If you want to learn to embroider, you have to start from somewhere. Yes. You will not, just from one time, you're not going to be perfect. Definitely not. You know? It just takes time. And, it does. And, 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 and practice. And it's, it's truly about enjoying the And enjoying the, the, the process. process. The process for me is, it's beautiful. And, it's always very fascinating because, and I see this in all the all the, the workshops that we do, you give everyone the same tools, the same instruction, the same supplies, the same, and everyone has something different. It's fascinating. For me, I find it very fascinating because you've, everyone is, be, is being given exactly the same. How, but the how, results how, how, how are so different. I mean, it's a... Uh... If it's the same color, I mean, how do you obtain different results? Well, no, they won't be the same color. Okay, so but, we can... But even, you know, for example, we do crochet. Let's mm -hmm. say crochet. So everyone's hand tension of the way they hold the hook is okay. very different, even though they've been given the same hook and the same yarn. Uh, for example, lino print, again, they've given the same tools to carve and the same... Um, line, piece of lino. Lino so, print, I haven't done yeah, that for a while. It's <laughs> I think really it's amazing. Lino. It's, it's uh -huh. like the tech, the, the leather textile, and you it's, carve into it's it, right? It's linoleum. Uh, it's coming from linoleum that you carve. Okay. And then you print. Yes. Um, so you have the special ink. And again, the, the depth of their carving, you know, even if you've given them exactly the same picture, they don't because the teacher instructs them to do their own. Um, drawings, mm -hmm. but the way they hold the tools, as deep as they carve, even the way they mix the ink, the way they put the ink on, the, it's 
it's fascinating. Very and that's the beauty of it as well. Yes. Both from the person who is giving the course. I mean, you're, you're seeing something a little bit different all yes. the time. Yes. So I think that's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. And it's an individual journey. Yes. Um, for each and everyone. Everyone's there for for some reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So and it hits a person every differently every time. Yes. Very. I it haven't is. done a lino r- print. Lino is for, really for the whole, of fun. my art classes back at yes. secondary school. So, it's so rewarding. It is. It so is so rewarding. Um, something that I've um, been curious. I'm 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 interested in many aspects of things. Uh, so especially in, when it comes to doing stuff with with, with my hands. Yeah. Um, um, clay. I mean. Oh, okay. So I've been. I, I haven't. I haven't done so in a. I had the, I had a lesson with uh, terracotta, which is a little mm-hmm. bit different than mm-hmm. clay. It mm-hmm. feels a little bit mm-hmm. different, um, but I haven't done so in I have fifteen mm. years now. No. I, uh, but something that I might might you might look I, into. Might you into should. In the, in you the should. Future. 